Okay, hey, good afternoon, morning, or evening, uh, depending on where you are. Math Foundation's 30 people. This will be day 10 of uh, our, co our counting and probability units. So we're going to get into combinations today. And we're going to, I don't know if we'll break this into two, pro probably we'll break this into two um, sections, combinations, and then the blended section, which tends to be quite difficult because of takes into combinations and permutations and other things. But we'll probably break it into two here. So let's set up our uh, plan for this lesson here today. Okay, so this is day 10 of unit three in Math Foundations. Okay, and we're going to be looking at, basically, we're going to be looking at uh, Combinations. What is a combination? So a definition of combination. And we're going to look at notation for combinations. There's a couple of them. Okay, we're going to be looking at calculations of combinations. There's a formula. course we're going to be looking at as well uh, uh, at some examples okay and we might have I don't know if we'll get this far in terms of there's a couple different examples uh, we'll be looking at just straight basic example problems and then we'll be looking at uh, two set examples where you're drawing from two sets and also a uh, case examples so uh, single single set examples double set examples and case examples for those three but we'll see we might probably will break it into two because that might be a little bit too much to to try to process in one day all right so let's go with first of all what is a combination okay so combination is different than a permutation in one way okay on the wrong side here. Let's get to right there. There we go. When we talk about combinations, it's selecting a group of objects from a set of other, other objects, obviously, where the order of the selection does not matter. Okay, like permutations, the order matters. So if you're in a race and you want to figure out which way you can get the top three finishers top three finishers were order mattered, whether they're first, second, and third, that's a permutation. But if you were just wanted to uh, get how many ways you can get the three medalists where you don't care who got the gold, silver, or bronze, as long as they got a medal, then it would be a combination. Okay. So let's start out with basically um, the notations for combinations here. Okay. So the order does not matter uh, for the combination. Uh, when you're selecting from a set, okay? So where's my, there it is. Okay, so let's kind of look at the notations now. So similar notation as permutation was. Okay, so if we do, the more common one is this one, NCR which is sometimes written in the book these mean the same thing okay this means combination this also means combination it's in brackets like that where the n's on top r's on the bottom so this is the set to draw from of total objects
Okay, and R is the uh, number of objects to select. Okay, and obviously this is combination. Okay, and they also use this other symbol. I don't use brackets very much. I usually use the NCR symbol. So if you're looking at your calculator, you can find combinations on there as well sometimes. You can see mine's above the 5 in my calculator. There is an NCR combination formula, which helps us. So the combination formula differs slightly because there are less combinations than permutations. Okay, because, for example, if you're, if you're doing an example of uh, combinations versus uh, permutations. Let's do one here. All right, so let's do permutations first. So we want to do, uh, let's just do real simple ones so that we can draw them out and see them. So we want to do, uh, let's do, um, let's do 3P2 versus 3C2. Okay, so when we're doing, and we'll say that our objects are uh, just a red, blue, and green dot or something like that. So we'll go, say we have a red, green, and uh, red, blue, and green dot there, and here as well. So, now order matters here. So we're going to select two of them. So we can get, for permutations, okay, for our answers, we want to select any two of these objects from that set of three different objects, okay, where order matters. So we're going to end up getting, we can select... Uh, blue, and then green, okay, or we can have green and blue, that's different, that's two of them it gives us, okay, well, we can also select uh, blue, right, and red now we can go to blue and red or red and blue okay that gives us another two possibilities there and of course well we've done all the blues blues with green we did blues with red now we need to do reds and greens together so you could have a red and green oop that's not red So we have a red and green, and then a green or red in that order. So that means order matters in how we select it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six permutations. Okay, so we've selected six permutations and if we did it in our calculator, or if we calculated out with the permutation formula, okay, I didn't give you the combination formula yet, but I will in a minute. Now, if we, if we look at combinations, these two are essentially the same. You get a red or blue, or blue. these are the same. So you can, that's one, doesn't matter what order, as long as you get red and blue. So red and blue, or sorry, red and blue, green and blue. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's green then blue or blue then green, that's one combination. The other combination is red and blue. 
Okay. And the other combination is blue and green. Or blue. We did blue and green already. Uh, red and green. Doesn't matter what order. Okay. So this, this is the same as this in terms of combinations because you've got the same two marbles in this case. So there are only three combinations. Okay. So there's only three combinations, red and blue together, red and green together, or green and blue together. Permutation-wise, when you do the red and blue together, like this one, it matters which one came out first. So there are more permutations than combinations. Okay. So now we remember that the permutation formula So if we looked at the permutation formula, this was uh, this would have been the same as going three over three minus two. This would have been three over one, which is six. Okay, now the combination formula, it it has to have a little bit different formula because it has to give us a result that's less. So the actual combination formula, <coughs> sorry guys, we'll do it in a little, if we look at the combination formula, okay, so if we take this symbol here, and write out a combination formula, it's the same, we start with n factorial, but, and we also have n minus r factorial, but we add in r factorial as well to reduce the number of permutations because you're going to get half as many in this case. So in our case, if we do uh, 3c2, what does it look like? Okay, it looks like 3 factorial over 3 minus 2 factorial, and then r is 2, so 2 factorial. Okay, so if we work that out, 3 factorial over 1 minus factorial times 2 factorial, which in our case, it ends up being 3 combos. Okay, and you can see that a permutation has more ways that it can be arranged because we have to worry about the order in which they come out of a bag. But if you're just drawing something out and you're not worried about the order, just with that, what colors you get, then you use combinations and there are less because this would be the same. These two here permutations make one combination. These two permutations make one combination and so forth. Okay. So with combinations, order does not matter. Okay. So that's the big big thing right here. Okay, and this is an example of a permutations. There's six there. Combinations, there's only green, blue, or red, blue, or green, blue, red. Okay, and here's the example of formula, so you should probably keep that in mind. Okay, so the next little area then, and just explaining the difference between combination and, so we want to look at uh, the formula for combinations and use it a little bit. And then maybe we'll get into some of these here. So we're about 15 minutes in, so we'll probably get in, into that part. We'll have to split this into two. Okay, so let's start off by flipping the page, putting our combination formula up here so that we remember it. Okay, so you notice that there's that extra R factorial on the bottom of combinations then from a permutation. So let's just uh, work it. Let's work it manually, and then we'll work it with our calculator. So, so do some examples. Example um, simplifying. Okay, so let's start with like 15 C3. Okay, 
So this would be the same thing as going 15 factorial over 15 minus 3 factorial. Oops, jumping the gun there. 151, no, it's not 151. 15 minus 3, right? Factorial. Then an extra 3 factorial here. Okay? Because order won't matter. So we do a little bit of reducing on the bottom here. 15 factorial. This is 11 factorial over 3 factorial. So if we were to write this out, what am I doing 11, 12, boy, oh boy. <laughs> 15 minus 3, last time I checked was 12. Sorry, guys. It's 12 factorial. A little rusty here. 3 factorial. There we go. So 12 factorial over 3 factorial. So we can do a little bit of canceling. So this is going to be 15 all the way down to 1. This will be 12 all the way down to 1. So we can cancel that out. So if we say that's going to be 15, 14, 13, and then I'm going to cancel out 12 down to 1 on the top. Then I got 12, 11 down to 1. So those cancel out but I still have the three factorial on the bottom. Okay, now what I recommend people to do is if you can cancel the 12 out, you can just go 15, 14, 13 on top and then write three, two, one on the bottom to calculate it out. But I'm just showing you that you can cancel all those out. Okay, so 15, 14, 13 over three, two, and one. So I'm thinking, well, we should do some canceling. Two can cancel out this to a seven. Do some reading. Three into 15 goes five times. So our answer is going to be five times seven times 13 over one. So that's going to give us whatever it gives us. Let's see. Five times seven times 13. Okay, so 455 way combinations. Okay, now if you do that on your calculator, okay, 15 combination 3 you get your 455 as well. Okay, I'd recommend at least writing out to this point here, and then you can use your calculator after that if your calculator has combinations on it, okay? So that's an example of doing a combination uh, formula, working out a formula. Let's try another one here, and then we'll try some word examples, some basic word examples. All right, so let's see if you can, let's do eight combo five. Okay, so eight factorial over eight minus five factorial. But we have to also have the five factorial for combinations, that extra one in there. This gives us 8 factorial over 3 factorial, 5 factorial. Okay, now we can cancel everything down to the 5 because that's a nice big number, so we'll cancel that one out. We can write it as 8 times 7 times 6. Okay, and then the 5 factorial is gone, so all that stuff's gone. Then we're left with 3 factorial. 3, 2, what? Okay, so we're going to calculate that out now. Well, six, 3 times 2 is 6. So we'll cancel that out. 
These all become ones, obviously, when you're reducing these fractions, and then it's 56 combos. If you want to take the calculator out and do it with the calculator, you go 8, C, 5. Like that. Oops. Can't. On the calculator. And you, when you hit it, you get your 56. Okay. So that's working with combos. Okay. Combinations, order does not matter. Okay. So what we're going to do here, if we look back at our plan. Okay. I got about 21 minutes. So I want to go another. 12 or so. I don't want to go too far. So I'm going to split it into two. We won't get to cases or the double set. We'll do some single set word problems now. Okay, we've done some single set just calculating the calculating them out as examples. So now let's do some actual phrased uh, word problems that might come up. Okay, so this is where the confusion can come in sometimes in when do I use combination? When do I use a permutation? So let's say a vendor. Let's title this some uh, word problems. Okay, so let's do some examples here. So a vendor has. Um, eight uh, different kinds of ice cream. Common type of question they ask in these. How many ways can you make, or how many combinations, we'll say? How many combos can you make? A three stack cone for a three stack cone. Mark. Okay, it doesn't matter which one's on top which one's on the bottom and which one's in the middle, okay? As long as you have those three flavors in that combination, okay? So this would be, we have to think to ourselves, okay, well, what kind of, of this? I just uh, did a similar type uh, one. So this would be eight flavors, three selected. Okay, so this is going to be, Eight over eight minus three, three. So this is going to end up giving us eight, five, kind of the reverse of the other one we had. We know what that one is already. Because we just did this one. I don't know why I picked the same one, but fair enough. six ways or combos okay that was kind of a poor example because I just kind of did the similar one there uh, let's try another one here let's say uh, okay uh, let me just check that here okay Let's uh, check this one. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's try not to do the same combination one. Let's, let's say that we have, uh, we'll do the same ice cream thing. Um, a vendor has, let's say, uh, let's do marbles. That'll work. Okay. Yeah, let's say, a vent, let's do ice cream, it's easier. 
Uh, let's go with uh, 10 flavors of ice cream. That way we won't be the same. Have you in there. Okay. Period. Uh, how many are my favorite? Can't even spell favorite today. There we go. I'm having trouble with this today. Okay, my favorite is a strawberry. Okay. How many three scoops combinations? that have a scoop of strawberry, because I want to have a, a scoop of strawberry. I didn't say uh, three scoops of strawberry, I said a scoop of strawberry, so just one. Okay, so in this case, we, we have a particular case example here. So we have to think, okay? So we have, we're gonna remove, so we have 10 flavors. And we're gonna subtract one from the set. So we have nine fit flavors left. As we're gonna one of ours, and then what we're we gonna do? We're gonna select only two more scoops because we can't. And we're gonna select two scoops. Okay. Notice that it says uh, only one scoop of strawberry on there. Okay. So I don't. I'm not taking into account that he might give me two scoops. So I'm taking the strawberry right out of my choices. Okay. But. I'm not saying that I can't get two scoops of something else, right? Okay, how many other ways? So then this would end up being 9C2, which if we work that out, it's 9 factorial over 9 minus 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial. Okay, so if we work that out, this would be 9 factorial over 7 factorial, 2 factorial. So we can cancel out the 7 and put 9 times 8. And then 2 factorial is 2 times 1. So we can reduce the 2 with the 8. So that gives us 36 combos. Okay, you might have, you'll have some double stacks in there as well. Okay, so that's an example of a single step one where you're you're looking at some cases. Uh, let's do another one with a single stack here. Uh, let's see here. Okay, we'll do double sets tomorrow and we'll do cases tomorrow, but we should. Okay, so let's do different flavors now. Okay, so that to show you how this would be different. So same question. Okay. So it would become a combination question. Okay. So uh, a vendor use it in the question above. Uh, oh, many ways or combos and 